universe is soon. What does that even mean? Well, I'll tell you what it means to me. Let me wind the clock back to my first year abroad. First day, first year, knowing nobody and scared shitless. That was how I arrived here. Alone, and afraid. A kid without a cause. But that changed rather quickly. That right there is my mother, Mary. Mary Martin, the greatest saint who has and ever will live. She's been with me through thick and thin, supporting me through every decision I've ever made up to this point in my life. God knows what she would think of me now. My father, the idiot that he was, took no part in helping St. Mary's financial expenditures or paying child support. But I mean, how could he? Loser was too caught up in his magic to even consider me or my mother. I know, don't ask. Needless to say, my mother and I had just gone fine on our own. No magic tricks or illusions. But as of late, there had been a brooding undertone to our relationship. My mother, the saint of Evercrest Peak, top of the firm accountant and office superstar, got laid off not a year before I got accepted to the school. This course would have damped on our spending capabilities. We were neither dirt poor, nor even a little poor, but the risk was always ever present. Just don't let it get in the way of your university life, okay? Go out, have fun, do stuff around campus. I'll be looking for a job when we get back, so everything will be all right. Mom, I'm not concerned, and I don't want you to worry. Once I get settled, I'll, I'll find a job. I'll start sending some money home to you. It'll be okay. You've grown up into such a man, haven't you? I'm gonna miss you, sweetie. Well, I'm gonna miss you too. I love you. I love you too. The poor angel. If she only knew the method of my madness, maybe she'd understand our little operation here was solely for her. Because you see, after the first few weeks of classes, I did get a job. Of course, the legality of the job is certainly questionable. Is class cancelled? The sad sack of shady just rushed into Joe White. One of my dearest and closest friends. We met during the first week of school, when neither of us knew the first seminar doesn't happen until after the first lecture for the class is taking place. <laughs> what a couple of idiots we were. As if the first day of the first week of our first year wasn't bad enough, we had to go make the most rookie mistake in the book. It wasn't supposed to happen, apparently. You got an email? <sighs> apparently it's in the syllabus. Damn it! As, as if! <sighs> I woke up late. I couldn't find this room, and I had to push my way through a pack of frickin' nuns. Joe was your typical loudmouth. He always had an opinion, and his opinion was always his own. And you knew it. Aliens don't understand the meaning of hurry the <laughs> F up. What, their savior's been dead for over 2,000 years? They ain't gonna care if they're like for one goddamn service? It takes that long to do the rosaries, for Christ's sakes. I never usually associate with people like Joe before university. However, he was the first friend here. And believe it or not, he was the one who the powers that be stuck across the hall from me and Res. Joe and I became inseparable. In fact, we had so much in common, I'm surprised I didn't run into him sooner. After we got all set up in our rooms, we hung out and drank a couple beers and discussed women in school. But mostly women. Ah, that first week was exciting. With all the people I met and with all the awesome classes I had been to, I had not a care in the world. You see, when you first come to the universe, it's as if your entire world has expanded five times over. The people, the places, the parties... The opportunity. But as every moment of euphoria begins, so too does it end. And what a resounding crash did that moment make. They're taking the house, Logan. They're taking the house, and that bastard of a father isn't going to do a single thing about it. Right then and there, I knew things had changed between us. She was no longer a sole provider, neither receiver. Something inside me changed that day. Hearing my mother cry for the first time in my life. Something I told me that I needed to act. And I needed to act fast. So I did what any normal schmuck would do. I went job hunting. I handed out resumes after resumes after resumes until I'd handed out every damn tree from here to the evergreen forest. Of course none of them called back. Not a single one! I still think deep down employers do students resumes to wipe their asses with. Especially students who are just entering first year looking for employment. Of course, the must have been a comedy, could have had something to do with it as well. And so, I continued what I've been doing for the past few weeks. I partied, I went to class, I went for a drink, partied some more, went to class. The routine kept going on and on, till one day Joe and I stumbled upon something that would change the course of our university career forever. Oh, 
4,000 word essay in first year? I don't even know 4,000 words, man. 4,000 words? I don't even know 100. Shut up, guy. How far are you? Uh, 2,300. <sighs> That's it. I'm taking a break. Logan. Lo Logan! Logan! God damn it, Joe! What do you want? Do you know our Earth Science midterms tomorrow? Look. Shit. As if these professors don't have anything better to do. Well, why don't we check? What do you mean? Why don't we check the schedules? Huh? Do you, do you know what this is? What is it? It's Professor Johnson's desktop. Right in front of us is his entire hard drive. It contains his dirtiest secrets that his mother's mother doesn't even know. So, well, what do you want to do with it? Like, mess with his email or something? Or something. Look, look what's saved right on his desktop. Oh, shit. Logan, do you know what this means? I have an idea. Joe White, the greatest, smartest man I've ever met. A genius. Michelangelo and Da Vinci didn't even compare this clown right now. And so time came and went. Slowly but surely, we have begun to build a database of test results so large that Oxford couldn't have possibly printed them all. I mean it. We took answers from records of previous year's courses, current courses, courses from various universities in the area, everything, until we compiled a freaking Bible of test results. This is going to sell us hundreds, if not thousands, of dollars. Our little operation had only begun. I was going to expand further and further until it was something we could never have imagined. Ah, how could I forget? Evelyn Scorsese. No relation to the director, of course, but beautiful and talented in her own right. She was the first girl I talked to at the university. I still remember sitting in class during my first week and she coming next to me with every other seat available for her to choose. But she chose the seat next to mine. For <laughs> what reason? God only knows. But fate had it that we would be tied together for the rest of our four years here. I was so happy when you texted me. I haven't heard from you in a couple months. Oh, I've been meaning to text you, but... Uh, things came up. Exactly. So, how have you been? Good, good. How's Joe? That clown? Same old, same old. Still conning numbers from first year? Not quite. Something more appropriate, then? Um... So, what did you want to talk to me about? You know, they say you can never care for someone or trust someone as much as your first true love. Well, me? I was banking on the very idea. <laughs> 